in addition to that, we have on the political news front, there's a new CNN poll out that shows Trump with a 20-point lead now, and Ted Cruz is in second place. And the Republican establishment is barely keeping its grip. They're about to lose their grip on sanity. Because what they've figured out is that, okay, let's say that Trump does implode like they think he's going to. Or let's say that Trump quits like they think he's going to. Or let's say that something happens and Trump isn't there. Who's in second place now? Somebody they hate more. (laughs) Ted Cruz. Establishment Republican candidates can barely be seen in this poll. The top three are candidates, Trump, Cruz, Carson, who are most anti-establishment. And the establishment refuses to get the message. Both parties, but the Republican establishment in particular, refuses to see, just as they can't see the handwriting on the wall right in front of them, the entire Washington political class and establishment cannot see Islamic terrorism when it happens. Well, they actually do see it. They just don't want to call it that. And they don't want anybody else calling it that. Trump is out there taking the occasion here of the San Bernardino attack to brag that it's even going to increase his popularity. And the thing is, he's right. It will. I'm watching Republican consultants actually lose it on TV. They're actually losing it. You should have heard what I was accused of this one. Not by name, by the way. I was accused. You ready for this? I was accused of wanting the Clintons back in the White House because that's when I really hit it big back in the 90s. That's when I had two books. That's when I got rich. Then I want to do it again. And that's why I am refusing to denounce Trump is because I don't care what happens in the country. I'm in it for me and all and none of this. I was my name is right wing media. My name was not used. So from now on, when you hear them go off on right wing media, that's me. They are losing it. They are losing their everything. You know, the, the secret memo that I promised yesterday to hold over Today, Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee, what they're going to do. If anybody's afraid of losing what they've got, it's them. They're worried to death that a Trump nomination will end their precious committee chairmanships. They're worried that Hillary's an automatic lock to win the White House. They're worried they're going to lose their precious Senate seats or what have you. They don't have the slightest idea what to do to hold on. They do not get that the Republican base and probably many other voters as well look at them as the problem, not Trump. What is so hard to figure out about that? Whether you agree with them or not, let's say you're a Republican establishment type and you're watching all this happen and you just you just beside yourself because you you think that these People supporting Trump are going to guarantee defeat for the Republicans. They're going to guarantee a victory for Hillary. Why don't you do something? Why don't you? Instead, why does the party adopt this posture and policy that says we're going to win the nomination without the base? At some point, you have to assess the lay of the land and you have to assess where you are in it. And if you want to win, you got to make some adaptations. You have to make some adjustments. And they're just unwilling to do so. Well, they demand that we make adjustments all the time. Pay higher taxes, sign on to Obamacare. We have to adapt all the time to what they do. But when it comes time for them to adapt to the changing seas of reality in American politics, it's inflexible and rigid on their part.